Hello, welcome to Thrive Groups. We're so glad to have you here with us this week. Can't wait to jump in. We are in our series, Rescue, and this week we're talking about being rescued from bondage. But before we jump into all that, I wanna remind you that we have a couple ground rules we like to go over, over every week. First is that we wanna encourage everyone to participate, but no one to dominate. And then also that we start on time, we end on time. So let's stay respectful of the locations that we're in. But with that, we're gonna jump right in to our discussion. And the first question, our icebreaker is this, what is your favorite kind of soda? What kind of soda do you like? Or maybe none at all, but like, let's just throw it out there. What's your favorite kind of soda? For me, it's gonna be root beer. Uh, root, I love root beer. There's other things I like too, but root beer is probably my favorite. Although, you know what? If I see birch beer though, I'll always get, grab the birch beer over the root beer because I don't usually see it that often. And it's got to be the clear one, not the red one. But uh, but generally speaking, I'd say it's root beer. But I don't know. I guess I just flip-flop there. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll go with birch beer, I guess. Uh, how about you, though? Uh, what's your favorite kind of soda? Okay, we're going to read a verse here, and this is from Romans 6, 16 through 18, and we're going to talk about what stands out to us. So I'm going to read it, and we're going to discuss this. So here we go. Don't you realize that you become a slave of whatever you choose to obey? You can be a slave to sin, which leads to death, or you can choose to obey God, which leads to righteous living. Thank God, once you were slaves of sin, but now you wholeheartedly obey this teaching we have given you. Now you are free from your slavery to sin, and you have become slaves to righteous living. So, let's take a few moments and discuss what stands out to us in these verses. Next question here is, share about a time when you felt trapped by something. A time you felt trapped by something. Uh, many years ago, uh, in my business, um, I, uh, I ran into some financial struggles. And I ended up, I was doing this internet marketing stuff and I was buying advertisement and I was selling things and I was doing all this stuff. And anyhow, at one point I just got upside down and I was buying more advertising than products I was selling. And I ended up uh, in, in a decent amount of uh, credit card debt. Um, and I just felt trapped. I felt trapped. I wasn't sure how I was going to get uh, out of the situation. Uh, I prayed about it a lot and God ultimately gave me wisdom and guidance for how to, to get out of that in a, in a reasonably quick period of time. But for that, you know, for a couple of weeks there, I felt really trapped by the situations that I was in. So how about you? Share about a time you felt trapped. Maybe it was financial, maybe it was relational, maybe it was something else. I don't know. But let's take a few moments and discuss that. Next verse here is tell about a time you experienced God's transformation experience god's transformation i know I, I got something stolen from me once uh it was a, a large amount of money i was trying to buy something online and uh ended up losing a couple thousand dollars off of the the deal and um you know and, and i was like pretty angry and ticked off and frustrated about the situation and angry that somebody would do that and uh, try to take advantage of people and god really uh transformed my heart my attitude uh towards this individual and gave me instead a heart of, of forgiveness and compassion where I actually prayed for the guy and uh, and asked, you know, for God to move in the situation. I don't know what the end result is in that person's life, but at least in my life, it was a transformation that I wasn't feeling the bitterness, the angry, the unforgiveness uh, anymore. But how about you? What's a transformation uh, that you felt God do in your life? The final question here is, what area of your life can you rely on God this week? Maybe it's financial, maybe it's something at work, maybe it's something at school, uh, maybe it's something in, in your family, I don't know. But uh, but what's something that you can really rely on God, you can trust in Him to get you through this situation in this coming week? Let's take a few moments and discuss it. Well, hey, thank you guys so much for joining us this week for our Thrive Group. We're going to close in prayer, and I believe there's power in prayer, and there's power when we pray together for each other. 
So let's take a few moments and uh, and pray. Uh, I would encourage everyone here to take a moment or two to pray. Ask God for something. Maybe pray for somebody in the group. You know, that'd be great too. If somebody's going through something difficult, you know, pray for each other. Uh, there's power when we pray for each other too. So take a few moments. Everyone uh, gets shot. When you're done praying, you can just say amen or, or just stay quiet long enough until it gets awkward. The next person will get the hint, I think. So then ultimately the group leader will close it up. So thank you guys so much again for joining us this week. Let's close in prayer.